Good morning students. In this class, I will be doing class 9, Matriculation Syllabus or Samachir Kalvi Syllabus, 3rd Chapter Algebra. Exercise 3.9, first subdivision already I have completed. 6 sums were there, already I have completed. Yesterday's video I have posted in the description box, you can view that description box. So, second sum, find the GCD of the following. Okay, previous sum is also GCD only, this sum is also GCD only. So, variety of sums they have given. Okay, so first one is 2x plus 1 and 5x plus 2. So, for this we are asked to find the GCD. So, 2x plus 1. Okay, so when we want to write this, we can write this as 2 into 2x plus 5. So, no other term is there. This is a linear polynomial. Uh, so, we cannot split it anything else like this. So, only other than this, we are having only 1. The same thing for the other one also, 5x plus 2. So, for this also, 1 into 5x plus 2. This is the thing even. So, GCD for these two terms is only 1. So, 1 is only the common term. So, no other common term is there. So, the GCD will be 1 for that. Okay. So, this is how it has to be done. Then, second sum. So, in this one, in exponents it is given. That is in power, few values are given. So, a power m plus 1. So, how can we split this and write? We can split this and write it as a power m into a power 1. If the base are equal, we can add the powers. So, base is a. So, if we add the powers, we will get m plus 1. So, a power m plus 1, we can split it and write it as a power m into a power 1. Okay. Then, then comes the second one. a power m plus 2. So, this one, the same thing. a power m into a power 2. So, that a power 2 also, we can split it and write it as a power 1 into a power 1. So, if we add all these things, base or equal, when we add the powers m plus 1 plus 1, we get m plus 2. Okay. Then, a power m plus 3. So, this is equal to a power m into the same thing. a power 1, a power 1, a power 1. We can split it and write it as a power 1 into a power 1 into a power 1. So, now, if we want to find the GCD, what are all the common factors we can say? So, the common factors for all these three terms will be a power m is common. So, the GCD will be a power m into, here a power 1 is there, a power 1 is there, a power 1 is there. So, a power 1. Okay, so a power 1 is the thing. So, we can rewrite this as a power m plus 1. So, this is the GCD for the given three terms. Okay. So, the third sum is 2a square plus a. And 4a square minus 1. So, we will find the factors of these two terms. So, 2a square plus a. So, in this one, in both the terms, we are having a as a common, common one. So, if we take a as common outside, we will get 2a plus 1. Okay, then. So, this is, these two are the factors. a into 2a plus 1. So, these two are the factors for 2a square plus a. Then comes 4a square minus 1. So, this one also, this 4a square, we can write it as 2a the whole square. That is 4a square, 2a the whole square minus 1 square. Okay, so this is of the form 2a plus 1 and 2a minus 1. So, this is of the form, this is of the identity a square minus b square. So, that is a plus b into a minus b. So, a is 2a plus 1 and 2a minus 1. Okay. So, now we will write the factors of these two terms. So, 2a square plus a is equal to a into 2a plus 1. Then, 4a square minus 1 for that 2a plus 1 and 
2a minus 1. So, these two are the factors. Okay. So, now the GCD for the given two terms is equal to. So, the common term for both the expressions is 2a plus 1. So, that is the GCD for the given two terms. Okay. So, practice as many sums as possible so that max is a very very easy subject. Okay. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.